All right, so this one's called Invisible Monster. So this is a story from Storyweaver. Um, it is an open copyright website, which means all of the stories are free to be read by you or me or anybody. Um, and many of them come from India, but not everyone. Um, they come from all over, so it's a great exposure to different cultures. Um, so we're going to read Invisible Monster. And let me tell you, this monster looks like it must stink. Look at her hand. She's covering her nose. Oh my, what is that? Is that a stink cloud? Oh my goodness. The original publisher is Pratham Brooks. The author is Ash Ashwitha Jayakumar. Illustrator is Tariq Aziz. And the translator is Yan Chia. I may have butchered all of those. I apologize. All right, there's one to 16 pages, so let's move along. Tala reached home with her family. Mama said, it's good to be home, isn't it? Tala nodded and replied, I'm hungry, Mama. I'm hungry too, little brother Mata exclaimed while rubbing his belly. Oh, well, he's rubbing his little belly. Oh, she's rubbing her belly, too. Everybody's hungry. I like their car. And all of their foliage. Boop. There's milk, eggs, bread, and vegetables in the fridge, Mama said. I'll prepare dinner, Papa replied. Can we have fried rice? Tala asked. I'd like fried rice, too, Mata echoed. Well, so everybody's excited. We're unlocking the door. We're going to get some food. Oh, no. Oh, no. As Tala and the family entered the home, the house, they were overwhelmed by a strong stench. Something is not right. Yeah. What is that smell? Tala screamed. It must be a monster! Mata shouted. Everybody looks unhappy. Uh oh. The living room was hot, dark, and smelly. The entire house is filled with the stench. Where is the stench coming from? Oh, oh my goodness. Too much. Mama checked the bath bedrooms. Mata checked the bathroom. Teamwork. Oh, nothing rotten under the bed. I tell you, my grandmother, she once left a steak in her purse. And let me tell you, rotting meat is no joke. Tala checked the dining room. Finally, Papa checked the kitchen. Uh-oh, it's the fridge. Let's see. <gasps> Papa exclaimed, pointing at the fridge. The smell is from there. Could there be a smelly monster in the fridge? Tata, Tala signed. Hmm. Mama, I'm scared, Mata added. Oh, he's holding Mama. Everybody's holding Mama. Let's peek into the fridge, Mama said. All right. Oh, no. The fridge is stinky. Mama opened the fridge while everyone held their breath. Mama reached into the fridge and sighed. <sighs> it's warm inside and the light isn't on as well. What happened? Mata asked. Oh, sorry. What happened? Mata asked. Seems the fridge has stopped functioning for a while, Papa explained. All the food has rot without the coldness, Mama said with much displeasure. The milk, too? Mata asked. Yes. It's giving off 
a strong stench, yet dairy products smell really bad when they're rotting. They're rotting. They say, spoiled milk is awful, Mama replied. Milk especially needs a low temperature to retain its freshness, Papa commented. Only four hours at room temperature, and that stuff gets really gross. It doesn't smell, but the bacteria in it starts growing too much. Is the bread spoilt as well? Tala asked. Yes. Can, can you see the bread is covered by green stuff? It's mold, not a monster, Papa said mold has multiplied on the bread it grows really quickly too so it could just take a few days for it to get like that it looks hairy Mata stared curiously don't touch it you'll fall sick if you eat it Papa said uh, probably I mean maybe some molds are less harmful than others but certainly you should leave mold alone is the vegetable spoiled as well? Tala asked in concern. Yes, they are all spoiled and cannot be eaten, Mama replied. Oh no, all that wasted food. Mata picked up an egg and accidentally dropped it. Oh no! Mata, the stench has gotten worse! Tala shouted. Seems the eggs had turned bad as well, Papa said. When I was a little monster, we did egg hunt, where we hid boiled chicken eggs, hard boiled chicken eggs, that had been dyed and decorated in the house. And one egg found its way into the back of the sofa. And that egg did not smell until it was broken three months later and let me tell you that was awful that was quite the stink stink that's just oh Tala believes she would not be able to eat eggs for the rest of her life I mean maybe that's disgusting, Mata screamed ah, and ran away while Papa was cleaning up the mess. Thanks, Mata. Tala and the family cleared the fridge and threw all the rotten food into huge trash bags. Why did all the food turn bad? Tala asked. All food turned bad over time all foods they stay fresh for a longer period at lower temperatures and spoil faster at a higher temperature mama responded there's actually certain temperatures like ranges that are safer than others if you look at your fridge you might see a number telling you what temperature it is and if it's below 40 that's good for refrigeration and if it's below zero, it's good for a freezer. Does all food turn bad? Tala asked. Rice and potatoes last longer, Mama explained. So do onions um, and carrots sometimes. Depends on how you store them. Cabbage too. Or cabbage too, Papa added. Seems like, seems like sesame oil as well. Mata chimed in. In that case, we can cook rice with potatoes. Tala happily suggested. See, look, they're making the best out of what they do have. And things that are good outside of refrigeration, like rice, are what's called shelf stable. They're stable and safe on the shelf. All right. Invisible monsters. Tala and Mata thought there is an invisible monster at home. Although they did not find the monster, they are not entirely wrong. There are microorganisms, that means they're super tiny, at home. When food turns bad, the humans can't consume them anymore. 
that's because there are microscopic organisms we're getting a little shaky on the typos here multiplying on the food these microorganisms are known as bacteria these microorganisms are not entirely invisible they are just very small smaller than the smallest insects humans will need a microscope to see them and they look something like this picture they look and say it looks like this in the picture. They do look similar to this. So, um, for example, the coronavirus is a um, is actually a virus, but it looks kind of like this. Um, as far as it has a little bit sticking out of it. Um, but yeah, some of them have tendrils. Some of them are one big tendril. Some of them are groups of cells. Some of them are puffy. Some of them are kind of lumpy. All different things. But, yeah, bacteria like to eat our food. When food goes bad, some food spoils faster, while others take a long time to go bad. Moist foods such as fruits and vegetables go bad faster. Dry foods such as uncooked grains turn bad slower. Yeah, things uh, with moisture in it just tend to not last as long in general. Eggs, meat, and dairy products turn bad especially fast. Fermented foods like kimchi, soy sauce, um, and things like that turn bad much slower. Processed and properly packaged foods such as biscuits and sweets also take a longer time to go bad. So, now you know. Alright, did you, what did you think of the story? Was it okay? Did you like it or you loved it? I actually really loved it. It talks about food safety and that's really important. Well, thank you so much for listening and you have a great day.